Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals. And particularly this question that we are taking up is from the concept of area under the curve. So if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the area of the region which is enclosed by a parabola that is given to us in the equation form as y minus 2 square equals x minus 1. The line x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. And they have also told us the positive coordinate axis. So we have to basically figure out the area of the region for this three ideas that we have been given. And if I talk about the answer choices, let's see what are the answer choices here for this question that is given to us. Option A, 1. Option B, 2. C, 4. D, 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is asked to us. Let's see how to solve this question for the... Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. Let's see how to solve this question further. So if I want to solve this question further, I have been given two equations. One is the equation of parabola and the other is the equation of line. So first of all, let's draw for a line here. So if I see, let's draw the line. So if I go for the line, the equation is given x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. So if I see here x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0, I can write it in the form y equals to mx plus c. So 2y becomes x plus 4. So if I don't want any number with y that is 2, I'll divide throughout by 2. So I get x over 2 and 4 over 2. So I get y equals half x plus 2. So if I see here and compare it with my general equation of y equals to mx plus c, the slope for this line becomes half, whereas the y-intercept for this line is 2. So I understand this line intersects y-axis at 0, 0,2. And since the slope is half, it's basically an ascending line. So let's draw it also. So if I draw it, this is my y-axis, this is the x-axis, and if I have a y-coordinate that is given 0, 0,2, let's see. So this is the line which is passing through, and it's a positive slope, so basically it will be something like this. Now we have been also given here in this equation, if I see, we have also been given a parabolic equation y minus 2 square equals x minus 1. So if I try to plot that also, I know it is not the general form of parabola which is y square equals to 4ax. It is having additional vertices. So y minus 2 the whole square, it's given to us as x minus 1. So with I know basically the new origin shift is happening of the coordinates for the parabola. So basically the coordinates of this parabola are with x I have 1 and with y I have 2. So somewhere here you have the vertex 1 comma 2 for the parabola. But if I also want to find the intersection point of this line with the parabola, let's find that first. So for intersection point of the line and the parabola, we will have to solve the two equations simultaneously. The one was x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. That gave me 2y is equals to x plus 4 or I can write this as x is equal to 2y minus 4. So I get from here 2 times y minus 2. The other equation was a parabolic equation which said y minus 2 the whole square equals x minus 1. So from here I can see y minus 2 it's nothing but x over 2. So instead of y minus 2 here I can write x over 2 the whole square equals x minus 1. So from here I get x square equals 4x minus 4. So I get x square minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. 
So from here, if I try to solve this quadratic equation, I know it's a perfect square of x minus 2. So I get x minus 2, the whole square equals to 0. That gives me x is equals to 2. So I get only one equation for this line x equals to 2. So if I see and plot that on the curve that we have here, so x is equals to 2. And when I have x is equal to 2 here, if I find it, so x equals to 2, if I put it here, I get y e turning out to become y minus 2 square equals 1. So that gives me y minus 2 is equals to 1. So y becomes 3. So I get x equals to 2 and y equals to 3 is my intersection point of this parabola with the line. So if I draw a parabola, it will look something like this. It has a vertex at this, so it will take from here. So basically, this is your parabola y minus 2 the whole square equals x minus 1, which has this coordinates as 2 comma 3 and this vertex coordinates are 1 comma 2. So when this is 2 comma 3, if I extend this, this becomes 0 comma 3. Now, here if I see, I have been told to find the area of the region between the parabola, the line and the positive coordinate axis. So basically that is this region which is present. So when I have this region present here between the parabola line and the positive coordinate axis, if you see here, if I draw this, this is your line and this is how your parabola looks. And this is your y and x axis. So basically this is the region. So if I divide this region into two parts, I can divide this that it is nothing but the area between this line and the parabola and then it is area between this y axis and the parabola. So one way is you can take these two strips and add the two areas and find it. Or the better way to do this question is I will find the area of this entire region first. So I'll find the area of this entire region between this parabola and the y-axis and from that region I need to basically subtract this triangle's area. So I need to subtract the triangle's area. So from this entire region if I subtract the triangle's area I get the required region. So let's try to solve this for you. So what I get from here is if I do this required area which I want between the two it's nothing but integral x dy because I'm taking a horizontal strip and x dy the limits go from 0 to 3 minus the area of triangle which is present so if I do that I'll get the area so let's see so area 0 to 3 x dy so x dy means you have the parabola equation so x, if I want to write it, the parabola equation in terms of x, I have y minus 2 the whole square equals x minus 1. That gives me x is equals to y minus 2 the whole square plus 1. So I can write that as y minus 2 the whole square plus 1. Further, if I go down and find it on the space, I can write this as y minus 2 the whole square plus 1. And if I see for y axis, x is equal to 0. So that's x equals to 0 dy. This gives me the area between the y-axis and the parabola. And then I have to subtract the area of triangle. So let's find the area of triangle also. So area of triangle, if I want to figure out that, let's do that. So area of this triangle, if I figure out, it's half base height. Base, I know it is this, which is going from 0 to 2. So x coordinate going from 0 to 2. So that is 2 units of base and y coordinate or height is going from 2 to 3. That's 1. So height is 1 and base is 2. So from here I get the area of triangle is 1 square unit. So I get from this that the area of triangle is 1 square unit. So this is 1. So I just need to solve this and subtract 1 from it. So I get the answer which is required for this. So let's try to solve this further and find the answer. So limits from 0 to 3, I get y square minus 4y plus 4 plus 1 dy, whatever answer you get, minus 1. So let's, let's try to find it. So I get from here integral of y square, which is y cube divided by 3 minus 4y square divided by 2 
plus 4 plus 1, which is 5, so 5i. Limits go from 0 to 3 minus 1. So if I put 3 here, I, everywhere I get 3 cubed divided by 3 minus 4 divided by 2 into 3 square plus 5 into 3. Minus 0, if I put everywhere, it's basically 0 minus 1. So I get 27 divided by 3, which is 9. 2 into 3 square, which is 9 into 2, 18 and plus 15 minus 1. So from here, I get 15 plus 9, 24 and 18 plus 1, which is 19. So I get 5. So I get the area of 5 square units. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question that was given to us, the area we have got as 5 square units. So if I see the answer choice that matches here, it is option D. So D becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of applying the properties of integrals. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.